Hello, Christian and Channel members, viewers and subscribers. Very good day to you all. So, in this video, we are going to review a very interesting journal. So, it is called Bulletin for Technology and History. Actually, the real name of the journal is not in English, but it's an Italian journal. Okay, so the articles published in this journal are of the Italian version. So, it is right now indexed in Scopus, and of course, you can find it in the UGC CARE Group 2 as well. So, we are going to have a genuine review about this journal, whether this journal is uh, still now in the Scopus database, whether it is indexed in the UGC CARE Group 2. And of course, like uh, many have asked about the uh, real website of this journal. So, whether uh, only one website is there or maybe two, three websites are there or maybe whether we can uh, proceed to publish our valuable research articles or maybe review articles with this journal or not. So we are going to have an intensive review. So without wasting our time, let us go straight into the review part. Actually, our review uh, started at this point only. Actually, I received an email. Okay, It showed like a public publication, your projects in Scopus Index Journal. So this is what it shows. And we had an email ID and it shows like dear author bulletin for technology and history journal. So submit your paper to this email ID and for more no information more information it is uh, they have given one website. Okay, so thank you. So this is what I have received. So I went on to research about this journal. Okay, and I found some interesting facts. So this was the website they have mentioned. So I clicked on this one. So it went on with bulletin for technology and history the ISSN is displayed okay so when I went through the information like uh, some information about the journal is mentioned about the technology history it is right now in Scopus index like call for papers everything has been displayed journal metrics like uh, acceptance rate indexing everything has been displayed okay also they say it is in UGC CAD group 2 you can find the information but no uh, you know link has been given okay for example like DOI they say okay some information about DOI UGC care about Scopus. This is what they are in for, uh, you know, displaying as well. And one interesting thing they have displayed. Okay, so uh, if you can see, this is the image. Okay, uh, they have displayed, uh, you know, the name. Okay, about the journal. So this journal, it's a Italian journal. So you can see very clearly, it is displayed in the Italian version. Okay, so even if you check in the Scopus website, you can find only information up to here. Okay, what they have done, they have, you know, uh, edited this uh, image, okay, they have put slash and they have put the English name, okay, but actually in Scopus, you will not find this English name, okay, so Scopus coverage years also they have mentioned, okay, this also we will check, okay, what is the publisher, what is the ISN number, so the same ISSN number they have displayed over here, okay, so this is the uh, thing that they have uh, displayed in their website okay so you can find the information like email id and of course they say like elsewhere designer as well okay so this you can see okay so even if you can see in the call for papers okay it's it shows that it is technology and history but they are welcoming like all the fields okay like uh, they say okay it's technology so in technology everything pops up okay in history also like uh, they have uh, some justification as well okay uh, and in the author information, they have given the information about the uh, typesetting of the paper, okay, how much pages it should be, what is the format, everything they, uh, they have displayed. Processing charges, it is given as 2000 in Indian rupees. Just imagine 2000 Indian rupees for a, a Scopus Index Journal, okay. So they have mentioned in this way, okay. And of course, international authors, they are charging roughly around 100 USD. So you, as you know, in Indian rupees, it is roughly around 8000 rupees because one usd it is 80 rupees okay so uh, like they have mentioned okay no paypal account like maybe they would communicate with it via email okay so they have mentioned the email id as well okay so this also it's not promising enough okay also if you can see in the indexing information they have given uh, several links but nothing is clickable okay so that's a thing okay also you can find uh, some information about the current issue as well one interesting fact is that all the papers are from india okay so that you can see okay even in the archive section as well i went through okay like some papers 
uh, from foreign most of them from india even in uh, 2022 i'm taking one issue okay so here also if you can see most of them from india uh, particularly like south india most of them uh, have published their research papers i don't know whether they had awareness or maybe information about this journal i don't know so maybe they would have like more money maybe uh, they are uh, into this journal okay uh, we do not know the information okay and one interesting fact about the editorial board as well okay so editor in chief they have given some foreign name and also some uh, editorial board members as well okay so nothing is clickable no email id no affiliation and of course uh, the designation and the country even so this is the point that you should note into also also you can see like contact uh, section contact us it's just a blank form okay like uh, there is no address no uh, proper uh, e uh, email id or maybe uh, the address with pip code or maybe country nothing has been displayed but only thing they are updating this year as well okay so that's the point that you should note so we are not sure whether this is the real authentic uh, website of this journal so what we are going to do we are going to take this issn number okay and we are going to copy paste in sciimagojr.com okay so this we are going to search into okay so we are going to search this issn okay because we are not knowing the exact name okay so if you type okay like uh, we know the name right now okay so it is bolatino storico bibliografico sabalpino okay so this is the uh, journal name okay but it but here in this website they have mentioned an english version okay so we are clicking on to this uh, particular uh, journal page okay so they have maintained a page inside imago jr okay so here you can see country italy okay subject area and category arts and humanities publisher they have mentioned a publisher name okay it's in italian h index is just one okay so here if you can see the issn it's the same issn number coverage you can see 1981 2014 to 2015 2017 to 2020 okay so uh, you need not have to worry about the years we will verify we will cross verify in the scopus.com okay here they have mentioned the home page okay so we are clicking onto this one also you can see that the email id is at the rate of deputationesabalpina.it okay which is actually contradictory to what we saw over here okay right so this is the thing also going into the home page it is going to another page okay so deputation sabalpina dot it slash bolatino dot html okay so here if you can see everything has been displayed in italian version okay in european also when i went through the website uh you know the charges even okay like uh, uh we had uh you know in euro okay so that's the currency that they will uh, try to utilize and uh, of course you can go through each of the section like uh, maybe the deputation publication library archive section activity contacts everything has been displayed much more clearly so this is the real website okay also if you can see uh, down the scope also it is uh, displayed in italian okay it's a q4 version quartile 4 version history only okay up to 2021 down if you can see the statistics about this journal two year four year statistics and no comments has been displayed okay so once again what we will do we'll cross verify with scopus.com okay so we will try to understand and analyze the real scenario we now move into scopus.com and we are going to click on the sources okay where we are going to search for the issn number okay so here you can see issn okay you normally like title will be there but we can set like issn okay and you can enter the issn okay so this is the issn okay for this journal so we are going to find the sources okay so here in the suggestions the search results it shows boletino storico bibliografico sabalbino so this is the journal okay so the highest percentage is just nine percentage okay here if you can see scope is coverage years 1981 2014 to 2015 2017 to 2022 we are not sure whether this journal is right now in 2023 okay but anyway we will check it okay publisher the same name what we saw in uh sci imago jr that has been displayed issn number is the same okay so what they have done is so using this issn number they have tried to create this particular website okay so that you can 
verify okay also here if you can see site score you can see up to 2021 it is 0.0 .0. site score tracker for 2022 it is 0.0 .0. site score uh, rank and trend also you can find the scope is content coverage if you can see no 2023 okay not to panic we are right now in february we, we can wait up to february end but still if uh, it 2023 doesn't show up or maybe no documents published in 2023 we can confirm that this journal is not indexed in scopus as far as 2023 is concerned okay so here in 2022 we'll try to look over these seven documents to uh, just check if we get any information out of this one if here if you can see okay they have displayed some documents okay like seven documents in 2022 um uh, also if i click on this particular uh, you know title as well okay that shows boletano storico uh, i'm not getting the real authentic uh, you know website of this journal okay even if we uh, uh, look over here okay normally like source home page something will be displayed over here but nothing has been displayed which means that scopus it's not feeded enough okay so you will ask a question like how uh, scopus is going to index uh, this particular paper in Scopus. So the answer is Sci Imago JR. So what you can confirm and conclude is that so this is a real authentic website. So the articles published in this journal, okay, they are very choosy enough. Okay, so they accept only quality articles. So the articles published over here appears in Scopus and not this particular journal, okay, which charges two thousand and eight thousand, uh, maybe. Um, you know in usd 100 usd and maybe 2000 indian rupees and not this particular journal so you can confirm that this is the fake website and uh, uh, you can find that uh, this is the real website of this journal so if you have any clarification or maybe queries with regards to this journal please feel free to share them in the comment section <music> so that's it we have successfully genuinely reviewed this journal so if you have any clarification queries or maybe any doubts even please feel free to share them in the comment section of course i will be happy to welcome you all and of course i will be uh, clarifying your queries as soon as possible uh, several are asking uh, questions uh, regarding with the, some journals whether it is still in the scopus database or not so very soon i will be having a live session with you all you can clarify your queries further even and of course if you have to review any scopus or maybe sci isi or maybe ugc care or maybe web of science index journal please feel free to share them in the comment section or in the community tab as well thank you once again for continuously supporting our channel see you then in another interesting video of any scopus or maybe web of science or maybe ugc care group journals as well till then collaboration is everything